Hi there, how are we doing? So I hope you can hear me okay and the audio is okay. We won't know until I, <laughs> until I release this. Today is a little bit of full body. Um, you might need a chair and this is more just to hold on to and support you. It's gonna be kind of leg heavy today with a little bit of core mixed in. So let's kick off and start. I'm gonna do a really quick mobility and then we're gonna go into our first round. So come on over to all fours position. Shoulders over wrists, elbow joints pointed in towards each other. Give me a nice arch through the spine and then give me a tuck. Looking towards the belly, draw the belly in, lift through your pelvic floor. Inhale, let it go, articulate out. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time, inhale. Exhale, tuck and round. Right foot is going to go to the outside of the right hand. You're going to lift your chest, press your knee over the ankle. Feel the stretch through the hip flexor. Walk the hands back a little bit. Feel the stretch through the front hamstring. Walk it forwards, lift the chest. Walk it back, feel the hamstring. Walk it forwards, lift the chest. Walk it back. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This particular workout, I have filmed and refilmed about three times. So I'm gonna try and give you as much energy as possible. This is left side now. But what happened was the first time I didn't like the quality, the second time I forgot to turn the mic on. And so this is the third day in a row that I'm filming this. So my legs are really sore. So <laughs> I hope this is good for you. Alrighty, after those three are done, we're just going to head on up and we're just going to do the thing, okay? There you go for your warm-up. So the chair is here because our first movement is a lateral lunge. So you're going to be coming out to the side and then you're going to be bending, hinging from the hip and then the knee goes over the ankle. You step up and then you hinge out this way, okay? Feel free to also, if you want to, hold on to your chair. You can step out, you can hinge, come up, and then step out with the other leg and hinge. You do whatever feels good for you, boo. Alrighty, so here we go. First round, I'm gonna keep my feet nice and wide. We're gonna go for our first hinge. So hinging and then back up, squeeze the bum. And then the chair is there so, to help you push back off. I only want you to take your legs as far apart as that you can get back up and so that you don't feel like you're going to pull something in the groin. Doo -doo -doo. And then we're working for about 45 seconds, but in all honesty, my timer just ran out of battery and I didn't have another battery. So we're going to go until I basically can't go anymore. And for some of you, that's going to be way too difficult. <laughs> for some of you, it's going to be really easy. I tend to have a natural cadence within my body from being a trainer for so many years that probably 45 seconds will be maybe about 10 seconds from now. Let's go for a final three reps on either side. Six reps if you like to count it that way. Last two. Good, last one. And all done. Alrighty, and next we're gonna go into walkouts. So round one of walkouts is you're going to hinge, take the hands down, come with me, just do it along with me. We're going to walk it out to an all fours position. You're going to stay really nice and lifted, hovering knees off the floor. If this is too much, bring knees to the floor, relax the belly, draw belly back in, lift up, okay? If it's too easy, feel free to also be plank position, push your shoulders over the wrists. Round one, I'm just going to demonstrate the hover. Then all we're gonna do is bring it back. Off we go, let's go. So hinging, walking it out. We're only working for about 15 minutes today. Who knows, it might be 20 because I don't have a timer. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> Mom life, haphazard life. All right, we're gonna go for about four more. So now I want you to think about in this all fours position, you're really drawing the belly in, pushing through the shoulders. So you're gaining both core strength, stability, and shoulder strength. What we don't want to feel is that it's too difficult. 
or that you feel like a bulging sensation in this hubby. You should be able to control those muscles back in. And I also want you to think about lifting the pelvic floor. Let's do one final one. Beautiful stuff. Brilliant. And then rest. Okay, now we're heading over to our chair again. We're going to squat. So you can either use the chair or you can just be body weight. It's entirely up to you. So the chair again is just to help us get back up. So feet are about shoulder width apart. Turn the toes out ever so slightly just for your comfort. Hands are going to be on the chair. You're going to push the hips back and down. Make sure the knees don't cave in. Press the knees out and then standing up. Keep the chest really nice and tall. Off we go. So when you come down, that's your inhale. As you come back up, that's your exhale. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful stuff. There we are. And then now I want you to think about your pelvic floor. So your pelvic floor naturally relaxes at the bottom. And then I want you to think about engaging as you stand back up. Good. And if you haven't had your pelvic floor checked ever, suggest you do, especially if you've had a baby. All right, let's go for a final 10. Nine. And if you can't go as low as I can, don't worry at all. You go to your range, but the most important thing is I want you to try and keep your chest as high as you can. I don't know how many we've done. Let's go four more. Four, last three. I'm filming this today in the nice sunset before my kids get back from school. Someone else is picking them up today. And a rusty roo. Alrighty. Into our final exercise, which is for our core. It is called a curl up. We've done this in um, week one, so we're just revisiting it again. If you have access to a sit up, You've been doing sit-ups, fine, go for a sit-up. If you're still a bit earlier postpartum or you have a diastasis and you've been told like, that's a bit too much for you, stay with me, follow what I'm doing because I'm gonna be doing that. Alrighty, so come down any which way and how feels good for you. That can be rolling to the side or it can be curling down. Okay, from here, knees, hips all in one line. Don't let your knees touch. Little bit of space between the knees. Just tuck the pelvis under ever so slightly. Bum should still be on the ground. From here, we're gonna exhale. Draw your belly down. Lift through the pelvic floor. Draw ribs and hips towards each other. Okay, we're gonna hold for a couple seconds, like a four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, go as high as you can go, where you can control your pelvic floor and your core. Good. And then back down. All right, let's go for, let's say eight. <laughs> Exhale, and then that would have been 10 reps and that would be really good. If you're up here and you can't control, you can't hold, just come back down, really reset. Think about the core and pelvic floor and then coming back up. Holding for four, three, two, one, but still breathing naturally, not, not holding the breath. Exhale, lift through the core and pelvic floor. Imagine hips and ribs are angling towards each other and you're drawing your belly down. Good, you can give yourself a little test of the abs too. Exhale, lift up. So what I wanna be able to feel is that my ab muscles are coming together and not that anything is poking out. If it's fat and skin, whatever, but it's more if you feel like hard musculature, that Toblerone bar sensation, that's not what we want. Uh, last two, exhale. Good stuff, last one. Exhale. Holding for as long as you can with the breath flowing, looking down to the belly button or to the knees and down. Brilliant stuff. Okay, back to the beginning. We're gonna start off with our side lunges. So you can either stay with the chair or you can take the feet wider than the shoulders and off we go. So now I'm just doing it without any assistance. If you still need the assistance, please go ahead and use it. Or what you can do is you can do this, and then when it gets a little bit easier, or if you, start, sorry, if it starts to feel really challenging, go back and pick up the chair or use the chair for assistance. I want the weight to be more in the heel so that you feel like the heel is having to push you up 
off of the floor. All right, we're gonna do a final three. This is your two. Last one. Brilliant stuff. Okay, into our walkouts. This time you're either gonna stay with the hover, the knee hover, or we're gonna go to plank position. Ready, off we go. Walking it out. So this would be me if I was hovering. This is me plank position. I shoot my shoulders over the wrist. I push up through my shoulders, I draw my belly in, and then I just walk it back. So when we're doing this, come with me. Um, when we're doing this, we're just practicing bringing pressure back into the core. And then we're gonna add on to that with, over the weeks with, you know, a variation of core exercises, being able to move into planking, hopefully, Developing our push-ups, shoulders over the wrists. And so when you have your hands on the floor, I want you to kind of feel like you're gripping the floor. So your second knuckle is kind of lifted off the floor and you're kind of gripping the mat rather than splaying the fingers out. That then makes you progress into learning how to handstand too. Okay. Walk it back into our squat. So this time you can either use the chair again or try without. Ready, off we go. So we're just gonna squat, stand back up. There you go, nice and easy. And so if you squat and you feel like when you do it, your, um, what's it called? Your heels lift off the ground, probably means you have tight ankles. So what you can do is just elevate your heels a little bit more and that should hopefully help out. And then just work on the ankle mobility. Let me know if you want me to do an ankle mobility video or a little daily ankle thing that you can do to help supplement this short workout. All right, let's go three more. Three, two, one, woo. Okay, so you can either stay with the curl up or we can work the sit back. So from the top, sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna tuck through the pelvis, round as much as you can, hold the core to where you can, and then sit back up. Off we go. So you're gonna lift through the pelvic floor, draw the belly in, exhale. If this feels very tailbone-y, feel free to put something underneath your bum. You can also hold onto the hands if you feel like you can go a little further and then control back up. This obviously, without that assistance, is more stability and control for your core. This sometimes just feels safer. Alrighty, keep going. Sorry, I'm just moving my butt flush out of the way. Exhale. And then back up. Let's do three more, exhale. Sucking and curling through the spine, like a Pilates roll down but with some help from the arms. Two more, exhale. Why is the exhale so important? Because exhale is for effort. Exhale. Exhale is for engage, engaging the muscles that you wanna engage. Good, and then rest. Nice stuff, sorry, my back is a little sore. Oh, okay, final round. So this time we're then gonna introduce a balance. Stay with your chair, Stay with your static side lunging, or we go for a balance. Ready? Off we go. So it looks like this. We're gonna extend out, come up, balance. Good. I'm going to my, this side. Up, balance. Off we go. Down to this side. Up, balance. And when I balance, I wanna be like athletic. So, sorry, I lost that. So when we come up, I'm flexing this foot, I'm pushing into this, and then I'm doing these like chopping arms. You don't have to do any of those things. Right side, bounce, good. Left side, I'm probably mirroring you and getting the arms and legs confusingly wrong, sorry. Right side, my right side. Good, left side, whew. Alrighty, one more on either side. Sun's going down, big guy. It's a reference from Marvel. 
you know, we watch a lot of Marvel. Balance. Ooh, good balance. <laughs> All right, last one. So now with our walkout, you can knee hover and shoulder tap or you can plank and shoulder tap. Let me show you the two variations quickly first. Try them, see how they feel. So you're gonna walk it out. You're gonna knee hover, place the knees down, one arm up, one arm up. That's one variation, okay? The other variation is you're in knee hover, you're pressing through the stabilizing hand, one arm to the shoulder, other arm to the shoulder, and then back up, okay? Last variation, uh, sorry, now the plank variation is you walk it out to your plank position, shoulder, shoulder. But what I wanna see is the utmost control. If you cannot control, do not do it. If you are controlling, but there's just like a little bit of work, a little bit of form breakdown, fantastic. If you think you're gonna fall flat on your face, go to the easier version. All right, let's go. I'm also trying to find more, um, what's the word, inclusive language for easier and harder because they're not, um, yeah, they're just variations and everyone's bodies are different. And so some people are really good at planking and others aren't good at sit-ups like me. I don't know why, I just tapped my shoulders. Um, but anyways, so now when you're doing your planks or your knee hovers, I want you to really think about keeping control through that core. You can also do some things to help stabilize the hips a little bit more. Like keep your hips higher, but within, within reason. So rounding through the back. Or what you can do is you can, it's okay, don't worry. Um, all right, let's make this the last rep. Beautiful stuff. All righty, last one is gonna be a squat with a knee and a knee. So when we bring the knee up at the top, that's like a crunch. So I want you to do a big exhale and imagine that you're crunching through the core. All right, ready? Off we go, so down for our squat first, squat, and then knee, knee. And then you can do this as fast as you want to or you need to, or you can do it as slow as you need to as well. Good, squat, knee, knee, squat, knee, knee. And then big exhales as you do the knee driving upwards and inwards. All right, we're gonna go for a final Three reps, three, good, two, or be more concentrated if you need to, and then one, good, rest. All right, so you're gonna go for your curl up. You're either gonna go for your curl up or you're gonna go for your sit back with a little bit of a rotation. So your hands can be on the shoulders. We're gonna tuck and round for our sit back. And then we're just gonna try and rotate towards the camera as much as possible. And then rotate away from the camera as much as possible. Coming back up, exhale. Rotate as much as you can. Rotate as much as you can. So I'm still working with a really weak core and a really um, large diastasis. But we know that you gotta work the core. Nothing is unsafe. Exhale. There's just appropriate and inappropriate for where your body is at at this particular time. Exhale. And I'm really grateful that all of you are working out with me. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be bothering to do these exercises. So this is like a progression into getting back into your Russian twists. Good. All right, one more. Exhale. Brilliant stuff. Whew. And that's it. You did it. I'll see you again tomorrow.